Hello, I'm Catherine Bobbick, and I'm presenting my virtual blogster. I am doing sleep and stress, and it is fitting into student body component making healthy choices. Sleep and stress are two components that are not usually thought of when it applies to health, especially directly and physically. It, those two things are more for your mental health, and people don't realize that's important until it's too late to, for your physical health. My goal is to show you the signs and what could happen if you aren't prepared and what to do to make some really beat some of the symptoms of it and to be ready to be a healthier person. The important part about sleep is that most people miss that the seven to six hours that they need of sleep, especially students. It does not only affect your weight but your mental health and it regulates mood and memory and this is why it's important. Sleep deprivation is one of the key issues and it can lead to weight gain and unchecked appetite. This is because of a hormone called leptin and if you don't sleep it falls and creates you to be hungry. Uh, signs can be, you can be sleepy in warm rooms, drowsy after heavy meals or while driving, you need a nap to get through the day, falling asleep in front of the TV or when you're not moving, <laughs> and you are asleep within five minutes of going to bed. That is the largest warning sign for that one. Something most people do not know is that if you have a limited time to sleep, you have sleep cycles. And so you have a sleep cycle in 90 minutes. And so if you want to wake up best in the morning or at a certain time, you need a plan for 90 minute periods. And if you wake up at the end of one of those 90 minute periods, it will be much easier because your body's already near wakefulness because it's transitioning to a new cycle. Sleep and dreaming are important, especially because of this process called memory consolation. It is because it is making connections of your day and processing what happened to you and how you're going to continue it. This is why your memory is improved if you go to sleep or if you need to go take a test because you, your brain has already worked to connect things to get things better. There are, four, there are four stages of falling asleep. There's N1, which is the transition period to going to bed and actually sleeping. There is N2, which is light sleep. There's N3, which is deep sleep, and then there's REM sleep. REM sleep is where all the important processes happen that makes you go through your day and helps you get through tomorrow. In small doses, stress can help you stay focused, energetic, and alert, but it's your, also your body's protection response, and if you don't have stress, you will not be able to function as you're going to be. But at to a certain point, it is dangerous, and it can affect your mood, health, and social well-being. And there are two types of stress that are affecting people mostly. The type that is internal stress and the type that is external stress. Major life changes, work, relationship difficulties, finance problems, being too busy, family and children are signs of external. And then internal are inability to accept uncertainty, pessimism, unrealistic expectations, perfectionism, lack of assertiveness, and negative self-talk are something that you can bring upon yourself too. Situations and pressures come from something called stressors. We usually think of stressors as negative things, but however, that is not always true. Sometimes they're positive and sometimes they help us do important tasks and achieve goals. But sometimes when there's too much or it's too much for a person, it becomes negative. People have different tolerance levels and this is why stress affects us differently. Different tolerant levels can have us the attitude and outlook and how we deal with these situations. Sleep is important also because it helps with stress. You're, while you're sleeping, your body helps produce proteins most more than any part of your day. And while you're sleeping, these proteins also go help with your brain and repair some issues that could be causing and leading to your stress. There are a lot of quick ways to quickly reduce stress if you are in like a position where you don't have time to really relax. These are things that all affect your senses, and they all trigger chemicals in the brain that help you relax. Easy ways to reduce stress would be like talking to a friend or listening to music. The scent of lavender is a good working one being with a pet, wearing soft clothing, drinking tea, or having a snack such as fruit or crunchy foods, eating small amounts of dark chocolate, stretching your body, especially with neck circles, using a stress ball, dancing, and taking a break from using technology. That one's really important because a lot of outside influences come from technology.